What's up guys, it's Will here with A-List Audio, back with another video. Day four of the sounds.com beat, um, I keep saying beat challenge, but I mean it is a challenge honestly, you know, doing um, <clears throat> 14 beats in 14 days. It's definitely a challenge. Let's go ahead and, you know, get right into it. If you just tuned in and you haven't seen any of the other videos, I'm just on the sounds.com. I'm not sponsored by them. Just listening to stuff on their website, you know, downloading it and making beats with whatever they have to provide. Uh, I was, listening, you know, I was listening to some of this stuff. Honestly, I was, if I do stick to that, which I think I'm going to is, you know, there was a, a good one. I think it was a hit. Honestly, I picked out a bunch of really dope ones. I just feel like... That one was dope too, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna save that hip hop one for another day. Um, we'll go ahead and uh, you know see what we got in here. What I got saved, to be honest. Let's see what we got. See if I can find some drums for this. Yeah, I like that kick. Both of these samples, um, they they're popping on the like on when they're looping. So you might want to go here on the left side. <clears throat> if you're a Logic user, hit more, and then on fade in, you might want to fade in a little bit. You know, like we're probably gonna. I'm gonna do just one. One, I guess one should work. And on the fade, I'll do one as well, and that should help with uh, the pop. Hopefully, I'm doing a little pump on the the secondary melody. Um, saves me a lot of time when I'm making these beat videos instead of having to make another another beat for it. Um, see how they sound together. to add um this new the or bass that i saw inside my sound I, I think when i bought the kit like a whole bunch of sounds it came with it like an 808 thing and i just never saw it or maybe i added it and i haven't noticed yet if if you use um the complete control this this um basically gives you access to all your keys or all your sounds for your keyboard or your drum machine for the machina um 
you know, some people, it, it'll load like this. It, like, all I did was come in here and, and I went into instruments, native instruments, and I loaded comp contact straight instead of going through these sounds. Some people didn't don't know this, but um, if you if you hit the menu again and you go to view and then go to edit view, zoom in a little bit. I know you guys are have, you know have trouble seeing this stuff on the on the phones. Um, you go to edit view and it'll actually load the whole plugin. So now it's like loading. Um, you know I like to have this here because you know it has all my sounds and so I like it. But sometimes I'm looking for something specific and yeah you can technically go in here and change it to con contact. But, you know, let's say I have a sound loaded and I decide I don't want that, I can still browse. So I just, I prefer using this. Um, it, just, it just makes more sense for me. Um, so let's see if I did load it. Yeah, so I did. I just never, I haven't used it yet. So I'm going to go through these 808s to see if I like it. During the uh, mixing, I'll go ahead and, and make that 808 sound a little better. I'm not sure what I want to add to it, but I'm going to see if I can find a little melody to add to this. Um, maybe, uh, maybe I'll see if I can go on the website and see if I can find something. <laughs> So what I'm gonna end up doing is uh, splitting this in the middle here and then duplicating this. I'm gonna do a little bit of real sampling on this beat. All right, so I did a little bit of a sample. Like I did it manually through here. There's other ways to do it on here. But this, this is what I pretty much did. Let me do it with the drums. samples into something different I got my main melody on the top <laughs> Um, 
pretty much I know it's fairly simple um the thing is is that with hip hop beats are fairly simple when you have a singer you want to have um you know sometimes you'll have four bar verses 12 bar verses and sometimes you'll even have 16s you know you know because they like to write short verses long verses you know then you have bridges you have like builds up it's you know they they have you know breakdowns they have all kinds of stuff that you can play with the vocal and so I'm going to see if I do one, you know, like an R&B style beat and see what we can come up with for something like that. And then, um, you know, be able to get a little bit more in depth of what it takes to make a, a more intricate beat. So I might add something. I know some of the beats I have put in the past, um, the past three episodes, um, you know, there might you might hear something, especially episode two that I can think off the top of my head that there was like an extra sound, um, like a reggae sound. And some people were asking me about that. They were like, wait, there was something that you didn't add. But adding stuff later when I'm doing the mixing process, when I'm mixing this down, you know, is it's something I added on my own. So it's not something I got from the website. But the point of, of these videos is just so you can see some of my tricks, like how you saw here, how you kind of chop stuff up to make it sound a little different. Some stuff is off key. So you have to think outside the box. Sometimes you find something and you're like, ah, I thought it was going to fit. It doesn't fully fit. And so the lesson, one of the main lessons in this video is that sometimes you just got to chop it up. Sometimes even slapping some auto tune on there because it, it might be an F minor and you can put auto tune on there sometimes and, and you can come in here and tune things yourself. Um, if you wanted to and then come in here and, and actually in, in fine tune the, the things I might do that to this main melody here um, or not main melody, but the secondary melody, I might come in here and fine tune a few notes. But for the most part, you know, don't just think that, you know, you you drop you drop a sample in something and if it doesn't fully fit, just go ahead and delete it. Mess around with it, sometimes playing it backwards, you know, sometimes, you know, just chopping it up, sometimes adding some auto tune, stuff like that kind of will change the sample to fit a little better. So hopefully, you know, this taught you something. Feel free to leave some comments in the comments section. If you, if you have any other questions, make sure that you like the video, subscribe, share it. Anything else I can help you guys with, let me know. All right, peace.